Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Burke. Welcome. Uh, several things came up, and uh, let's start with the an understanding of Sung. So there's some questions about what's going, what exactly is going on there. So Sung, the way that uh, I learned it is S-O-N-G. Um, uh, some people pronounce it Shung. Um, um, I have to, to research that a little bit more, but the, um, um, the basic idea with Sung is that it's not just relaxation. It used to be just translated as relax, and that was Sung. So, uh, so you learn to, to just let go of muscular tension and then and you're Sung. It's not exactly what we're looking for there for, for Sung. But it's something uh, quite a bit more than that. That's a good start, and that's a that's a beginner's approach. That's like okay, if someone has no idea what it means to let go of muscular tension, you start there, and you just sort of like just introduce you know the concept to them. But uh, very soon, you want to give them something more. And that is, what am I relaxing into? Because to relax just to relax itself is not going to help you whenever you're you're performing say a martial art um you know if you're if you say oh totally relax well if you're totally relaxed you're a puddle on the floor you don't really have any there's no structure that is uh that is there to do work for you so sung means to the way i've defined it is that it's to relax into the intrinsic structure of the body mind. So this has layers to it, but the essence is that you are letting go of muscular tension, which then allows you to access something which is a little deeper. And on a structural level, on a physical level, on a substantial level, that thing is your connective tissue system. So if you do not have something that you can relax into, you're just going to tense up again it's the minute that you are provoked in any way. As soon as there's a challenge to the, to the system, you're going to get tense again because you don't know any better. The, that is the way that you know, we learn how to move in, you know, on this planet and, and by, you know, by the, the brain signals, the motor neurons, to contract, and that allows us to propel our body into various movements. So that's that is the way that that we we learn, and it's largely successful for a lot of people. And um, where you run into a problem, though, is when the brain gives cross intentions, where things. There's an intention and a counter intention, and then you get muscular tension. That is where there's a these two forces collide, these two intentions collide, and so then you start to hold things very tight, your neck, your shoulders, etc. You start to clench your piriformis muscle in your butt, you know, whatever. So you then a lot of your energy gets gobbled up just in fighting yourself. When you sung, you let go of that and you, you relax into your connective tissue system. And sort of a way to visualize it, it's not exactly a, a representational, but it's a, it's a way of visualizing it. If, if uh, the way we, um, when we're using just muscular tension, it's like I have a chair here and I'm gonna, Sit down, almost down, but I'm, I don't want to sit down all the way into the chair. So I'm using my muscle power to keep my body erect, to keep my body elevated. So I'm, there's this constant outpouring of energy rather than doing it. So when I relax into my connective tissue system, it's like, ah, oh, there's this deeper layer that allows me to let go of that muscular tension and still give me support. And actually, it gives me more support. 
and more effective power than that muscular tension does. And since we don't really explore that, we don't trust it. So learning to be sung is to learn to trust that connective tissue system so that we then are not using a whole lot of muscular force or li, li, uh, to, to execute uh, our motions. And when we do that, we then start to access the coherence of the body, body mind. That is, the whole system works together at a much higher order. And so it's much more efficient. And there's a, an effortless power that comes out of that. So the muscular tension tends to kink the hose. So we, we're bunching up and, and so the energy gets stuck at the local place. So if I, if I tense my, my biceps muscle, this everything gets locked up here and I'm not connected to my, to my feet. But if I just relax and relax into my connective tissue system, and extend so that I can feel that all the way down through my body into my feet. And, and I feel the connection with the floor then. I feel the connection with the whole, the whole system when I do that. It's because I'm not focusing on, on tensing up. I'm not pushing up, thinking about pushing away. I'm thinking about just reaching and extending. And that creates, there's a quality called tensegrity that is one of the qualities of the connective tissue system which is sort of this elongation is sort of stretching that occurs whenever, whenever they it pulled. And then when that happens, then it unifies the whole system. So when we are relaxed into the connective tissues and into the support of the connective tissue system, when we're reaching and extending, then it's kind of like um, whenever you're tuning a guitar string, you're kind of pulling that you know, if it starts as limp and then you and so you it gets toned. So it creates a uh, uh, it, it's then useful because it's in this it's the tensegrity of the system is is addressed. And so that and very similar to the guitar string, whereas the guitar, you know, the string, if it's if it's um, completely relaxed, then it's not connecting up the neck with the, the base of the guitar, so you're not getting any sound. Whereas if you tone it up and create that tensegrity, then you the whole guitar resonates as one. So that's what we're looking for in the body mind. So when we get our song, we are not just releasing tension, that's a step but we're accessing the connective tissue system. And as I said before, it's about learning to reach. Everything in Taiji Chuan is about reaching. It's about extending intentionally so that you're feeling, you're creating some, some, some internal um, tensegrity in the, uh, in the connective tissue system. When that happens, then the energy travels much faster, not just much faster. It's like almost, in, almost instantaneous. So the whole system becomes this intense biofeedback mechanism where everybody is listening to everybody else. All your 70 trillion cells are, are dialed in and they're attuned. They're on the same page and they're, they're resonating. So, Yes, it's a very important for your ability to execute a martial art, but it's also very important for your health and well-being. Is the more coherent you are, the more you're able to attune to that, the more that every system is responsive to every other system, and it creates a a, a significant uh, improvement in your in your health and well-being. So there's also, so this is on, a, on a, the physical level, on the energetic level, we have something else we, 
we we in order to do this, we have to shift away from the compulsive doing mode and address the state of being. And we access that by conscious movement and conscious feeling. So that you're actually tuning in to what's going on inside your body mind. This is one term for it is entero, enteroception. That is your ability to, to direct your awareness inside so that you're able to attune to processes that ordinarily are invisible to you. When you do that, then you start to awaken parts of your nervous system which have been asleep. And this opens the door to awarenesses which go way beyond the physical. So then you start to, you become like a, um, uh, like a, a receiver. You are able to attune to energy and information that ex far exceeds the limitations of your physical structure. But it's not an either or thing, it's a both and thing. You get the body together, then you tune in to the, uh, to this ex extra sensory perception and you start to, to perceive things that are beyond what, what is ordinarily considered to be normal. So it's, it's paranormal, supernormal. Um, so, and that's why I, I talk about super consciousness as being a state of body, mind, spirit integration. So that, that state where you're tuning into that more is when you've opened the eye of spirit. You get the eye of, open the eye of flesh by attuning to the, the internal, the eye of mind directs it, directs traffic. And then the eye of spirit is where you're able to then use the eye of flesh, eye of mind, but also access more. So I think that, that's sort of a, a nutshell. So Peter, you asked the question, is there something that more you'd like to get into on that? Is that, is that it handle your question or is that uh, you have uh, something more? I think you're on mute, Peter. That's great. There's a ton to digest in what you, in what you explained. Uh, you know, my only question is how to practice it. The practice, you know, how to, how to do it, the how-to. Okay, and that, uh, um, that's something we do in this class all the time. So uh, I think uh, probably it, for me, the, the best thing to do is just do the three pillars, you know, so get that, establish that as your foundation. And so that's a good thing to, for us to do now, just as a, a way of, of exploring Sung, because the three pillars establishes a structure that uh, where the energy is flowing freely. And it's also you're getting the maximum support from your structure. So let's uh, stand up and do the uh, three pillars and just feel into it. And with the perspective, this time of exploring Sung. Okay, so about to step out. So we're going to really focus on the Sung aspect of all this. So first we wanna do is establish our contact with the earth through the feet. This grounds the energy, but also permits Earth Chi to ascend. It allows the Yang Chi to go down through the feet and into the earth and to dissipate, but also allows the Yin Chi to come up and replenish. So you want to feel your weight centered over the balls of your feet. 
Feel your toes pressing into the earth. Not hard, but just to feel them, just to make that contact. And notice the tension in your legs. And so you want to just relax your knees, just let go a little bit, relax your hips, your butt, and ah, settle in. Almost like a um, the sand in an hourglass dropping down. So you're just allowing uh, that to drop down. You're sinking in. So we're focusing on the relaxation here, relaxing of any extraneous muscular tension. But at the same time, notice that you're not falling down. There is support there your connective tissue system, which is present in every cell in your body. It creates the structure that all the other stuff fills up. Even your bones are part of the connective tissue system. So you feel that. So, you know, you can imagine, get the idea of song like you're standing on the, at the edge of the water on the beach your feet in the sand, and then the waves come in, and each time they go out, you feel yourself sinking deeper into the sand. You notice that your feet is starting to get covered up as you just stand there. You're dropping down into the earth. So this is, we are exploring Sung with regard to the foundation of the body mind here at the, at the balls of the feet. And that sung allows the earth chi to rise and to fill the body. So without letting go of the sung, you reach for the crown of your head and tuck in your chin Open the jade pillow gate. So we have poles in opposition now. The feet are sinking down, the head is reaching up. Your spine is lengthening. The space between the vertebrae is increasing. Even though we're reaching up, there's no tension. But there is tensegrity. You can feel as you reach in opposite directions that there's sort of a tug on the tissue in your body. This is what's getting tugged here is your connective tissue. And there's layers of fascia that run from the bottom of your feet, up your back, up over the top of your head. So you're elongating that. This creates an instantaneous communication throughout the whole body mind. Notice your hands right now. Notice that they're starting to heat up, get tingly, sense of fullness. Reach with the clavicular notch up here. The, the, if your collarbone feel that reaching upward, opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Feel that reaching, opening even more energy, feeling more flow there as you do that, more circulation. Point your index fingers, feel into your, into your hand, feel the energetic coherence that comes by doing that. 
it also signals your connective tissue system to get even more uh, coherent and more the more tensegrity in the system by doing that. Continue to feel yourself sinking into the earth, reaching to the heavens with the crown. Reach with your elbows, open the shoulder joints. Feel the energy rush to your hands when you do that. Find a way to reach with the elbows without tensing the muscles. There's a reaching quality rather than a pushing. And spiral down to the left, and spiral down to the right and feel releasing at your quad, your hip joints, letting go unkinking the hose there. Relax your lower back. Allow your sacrum to drop, your coccyx, while at the same time reaching with the crown, feeling those poles in opposition. So this is Sung in a very uh, stationary posture to get that. So learning how to then take that and, and to bring it into movement. Let's say you point your index fingers, feel your fingers, Feel your, your elbows, feel them reaching out. Now, very slowly, reach with your wrists, let your fingers hang. So you're reaching with the wrists and very slowly and feel into your arms as you do that. So you're reaching, not tensing. The shoulders are very relaxed, you're extending opening, feel the heaviness of your arms, feel the sung, feel the energy in your hands as you do this. Now reach of the fingers, open. And by getting the structure aligned, you can then sink into the connective tissue system and let that do the work for you. And you're moving with Sung. So now reach down with your elbows and your wrists, reach down with the wrists. down with the fingers. Feel the arms hanging, but they're not just limp. They're, they're assuming a structure and the muscles are relaxed, but the connective tissue system is doing the work. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee spiral down to the left. Your root sung into the right leg. Feel that and then step in with the left foot. Back to center. 
Take a deep breath. And as you come up, same idea here. You reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists. Feel the sung. The arms are very sung as they're coming up. Feel into that, the interoception. And as you press down, you're letting go of the energy, disappearing it, dissolving that and opening the eye of spirit as you do this. Shifting into a super conscious state, which then allows you to direct the energy <coughs> consciously. Get into the stillness. 